All right, friends, I love this story. Don't Touch My Hair by Cherie Miller. And let me show you Cherie's picture. Something special about Cherie is she writes stories and she illustrates them herself. So she draws all the pictures. She loves to do beautiful, bold, bright colors in her stories. So if you haven't read something by Cherie Miller before, check her out. You'll love her stories and her illustrations. I also love this story because it reminds me of my own daughter, Annika, who has beautiful curly hair, just like the girl in this book. And people always wanted to run their fingers through Annika's hair. So I hope you'll enjoy this story, Don't Touch My Hair. I'm Aria, and this is my hair. I love my hair. It's soft and bouncy and grows up toward the sun like a flower. I love it up or down, styled or wild. I don't care. I just want it to be free. Actually, everyone loves my hair too. When I walk down the street, I hear so many compliments. It's so big. How do you get it so fluffy? I wish I had hair like that. It's great that people love my hair, but some love it so much they want to touch it. I don't like this. What does it feel like? They are so curious about my hair that they try to touch it without even asking for permission. Oh, I want to feel. Me too. Look at Aria. Yikes. I get very good at avoiding hands. I have to start looking for ways to hide my hair. I try blending in with the scenery, but I'm quickly spotted. Over here. I try hiding under water, but that doesn't last long. Oh, wow, I love your hair. Can I touch it? I escape to the jungle, but the critters just can't keep their hands to themselves. Let me touch. Me first. No, me. Even in the tallest castle tower, someone is always there ready and waiting to touch my hair. Girl, your hair is fierce. No matter how far I go, it doesn't seem to matter. How do you get it so big? Finally, I find a place where no one wants to touch my hair. But after a few hours, I get lonely. I decide to go home. I try my best to ignore the attention, but as a hand sinks into my hair, wow, it looks so soft. Oh, it is soft. I decide I can't take it anymore. That's it, that's enough. Don't touch my hair. This is my hair. It's great that you love it. I love it too. But please, just look and don't touch without my permission. The next time someone wants to touch my hair, they ask, can I touch your hair? I reply, not today. Okay. Now it feels great to walk down the street without anyone trying to touch my hair. My curls are free to reach for the sun, just like a flower. Some people still ask to touch my hair, but if I say no, they listen. How are you today? Hello. But if you ask nicely, sometimes I say yes. The end.